So imagine this. You're coming along, you're putting up your pickets, and you get to this spot. Where if you put in one, you've got to rip one. If you try to put in two, well, it's just not going to fit. Okay, so what we want to do in this situation is we'll move our guide out of the way for right now. We want to we want to take one of these pickets and we want to hold it up where we want. Right. And we're going to put one screw or one nail as far to the left as you can. And we'll take the other one. And then it's not going to go in the hole, but what we can do is we can angle it in, bump it up against it, and then kind of pull back. And that theoretically should be where you want it. We do want to come in. And you really you want it to overlap this other picket just a hair. Come in and put a screw. It's going to go through both the top picket and the bottom picket. Now put it where it's gonna put both of them. Make sure it's overlapping just a bit. Maybe just a little bit more. And that screws in the bottom. Take that. Both of the screws out of the bottom picket. And then you may have to back these out some. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna get over here on the ground or on a salt horse, whatever it is. I'm laying down a bum picket on the ground. You want to set your picket down on it. Make sure that whoops, make sure your screws are facing up first off, and make sure you overlap. It's kind of centered. So the next thing you want to do here, but you want to make your shoe touch, make your saw blade barely touch the picket. And then we want to rip these pickets, but we want our blade to go right here. If we look at the end to see how much of an overlap there is. So there's two inches there. This is the middle of that. That's where we want the blade to be. And we want to continue it all the way down. And the way we will do that is once we get our blade where we want it down here, we're going to note all these markings on the skill saw. Sorry, this is from the blade. So we've got an inch, two inch, three inch, four inch. What I like to do is I think these are in eighth inch increments. I pick two of them and I try to keep the edge of the top picket in between those two as I rip it down. So I try to get the middle. That's pretty much the middle. Hopefully you can see that mark. It looks like a four inch mark. That's about what we're going for. We can either go on, whoops, on this side of it or on that side of it, whatever it is. But I try to pick two to stay in between. I don't try to stay on just one. A lot of times that's harder to do. All right, so if we got all that sorted out, then we'll take our saw and rip it. Okay, so now that we have our pickets here, there's two ways of going about this. One is that you do not put any dog ears in. Put them together and try to make it look like one big picket. I don't like to do that for this right here because this is almost nine inches. If it was like a little bit less, I think I might would. But instead, what I would do, I would lay the pickets on top of each other pop up and then use one picket to mark the dog ear of the other. You're lining up the edge of the side that needs a dog ear. If that makes any sense. Same thing here, mark it. our two pickets. You can see just a slight sharpie mark so I know which one goes where. We do want our guide. 
eye back or to eyeball it figure it out but to get this in what you want to do is put it right side in but point it outward left side in point it outward as well and then you want to kick the box Maybe it should come down just a little bit. It's hard to show you guys and do it, so I'm gonna fix it. But this will come down just a little bit, and um, I think it'll be. And up here, the hole that we already used. Let's we'll use that one again. There's no need to make another screw hole. Same thing on the bottom. There you go. That's the easiest way I've found to rip some pickets to fill a gap that's too big for one picket and too small for two. Um, this way you don't have one six inch picket and one like three inch wide one. Instead, if, it's, if this is nine inches, we've got two of them that are four and a half wide. So they're kind of the same. It's not as noticeable. We've got to do it anyways. So might as well try to hide it. But that's all. Enjoy the video. Maybe drop a like. Subscribe to see more fence tips and tricks and check out this video.